Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackYear.com. Today we're going to break down the all-new Scorpion EXO GT 930 Transformer Helmet. The all-new Scorpion EXO GT 930 Transformer Helmet retails from $249 to $269 depending on whether you get a salad like we're showing you here or a graphic. There is also another model that comes with their all-new Exocom Bluetooth communicator system pre-installed. We will do an independent review on that helmet. That one obviously sells for more. This helmet is ECE and DOT certified. It weighs four pounds in a size medium on our digital shipping scale. Remember it is a modular helmet so it's going to lean towards the heavier side. Its interior head shape is intermediate oval. I measure 58 centimeters on the money with an intermediate oval head shape. The medium in this, which is what the size chart would call for for me, fit and felt great. Scorpion has really got the head shape dialed in, the comfort of the helmets, and I would say for their price points that they operate in, their quality is class leading. It always has been with Scorpion. You get so much value, you get closer to a higher end helmet with a much more reasonable price. There are three shell sizes with this helmet. It's a polycarbonate shell. The shell sizes are extra small through medium, Large uses its own shell, and then we have extra large all the way up into 3X. Glasses compatibility. Scorpion bills this helmet as being compatible with glasses. We use the same pair of sunglasses that we've used for the last couple of years here in the studio to verify that. And what I found is the glasses slid in and out easily. And once they were slid in, you could position them in the optimal spot for you, the rider. Okay. Who is this right for and features and benefits? Obviously, this is a modular helmet. This is intended for a street rider that's looking for a helmet that offers all the functionality of a full flip-up modular helmet. You know, when you're riding on the street, you want to get to a map, you stop at a destination, you want to talk with the other people that you're riding with, this can be very convenient. If you're stuck in traffic and you're rolling really slowly, you want to flip up the canopy to get more airflow in there, you can do that, right? So this is obviously a street focused helmet. This isn't the type of helmet that I would ride in as the majority of the riding, actually all the riding I'm doing at this point is done on the racetrack. A unique feature to this helmet is gonna be, it's more than just a modular, okay? Standard modular operation here. It also has a uh, visor that can be installed. You're able to remove the canopy, just kind of depress that little switch right there and slide forward takes that off the helmet you're then able to install this visor this comes complete with the helmet when you make the purchase and now you've got yourself you know an open face three-quarter helmet and it still has the drop-down inner screen right so there's a lot of functionality built into this helmet that's pretty cool that's a nice value add feature right there because a modular helmet rider i could see them putting the open face the three-quarter open face to good use another key feature with this helmet it, it is one of the new helmets from scorpion that is compatible with their all new exocom we don't have one of those here with us now that's a product that we're all still waiting on probably stuck in the port in los angeles when we get that, we're going to go ahead and do a full install and break down the features and benefits of that. But this helmet is designed to accept that with a direct integration. You have right here a little port cover. You pull off, the switch pod's going to go there. Right here at the base of the neck, and we'll show you when we do the disassembly of the helmet, the body of the unit would reside here. And then, of course, there are pockets molded into the EPS to hold the speakers for the unit. Super cool. As I stated earlier in the video, there is also a model that comes with that completely installed from the factory, right? Sells for more, obviously, because you have the price of the unit and the helmet, but if you don't want to mess around with installation, they have a matte black only version with the Exocom installed. You can look for that. To remove the visor, 
go ahead and depress the same. You can see there's cutouts right here. Depress the same switches that we use to get the canopy off the helmet. Slide this back on and we'll finish up our features and benefits. You can see that's relatively easy. Ventilation. We have a single stage either on or off vent here in the chin bar. Intake here, it blows up onto the Everclear fog-free treated uh, shield, right? Their fog-free treatment is some of the best in the industry. A little airflow on there just helps to hedge your bet when you're in high fog conditions. There is also some perforation here on the back of the chin bar that's going to allow for air to flow through that same vent right into the mouth area of the helmet. We've got an intake vent. This is either on or off. It's a large vent on the top of the helmet. Exhaust is managed through this diffuser here in the back. When we take the helmet apart and remove the interior, we'll show you the EPS and the channeling they have in the EPS to enhance the airflow to get it to be as effective as possible. There are shield tabs on either side of the shield, so you can open this and close it with either hand. There is a centrally located lock. That is the best way to get a helmet to sh a shield to seal nicely and stay in position is to have a centrally located lock. So I like that they did that. This is an all new shield from Scorpion, not used on any of the other helmets. To remove the shield, you're gonna go ahead and push that button right there and kind of roll it forward like so. I don't think it's an overly difficult mechanism, but I will say it's not quite as easy as uh, some of the other ones they have. Shield is removed. Go ahead and slide the canopy back off. We're just going to jump right into the disassembly of the helmet, giving you that inside out look. You can really learn a lot about a helmet when you take it apart and look at it from the inside out. It comes with a chin curtain pre-installed here. I'm not sure if that is in fact removable. I believe that is a fixed piece for the helmet here. You can see the ventilation built into the chin bar. The latch mechanism is metal. There are the vents that direct the air up onto the shield. Polycarbonate shell, double D-ring retention system. To remove the cheek pads, which are one piece with the neck roll, you're going to want to slide your fingers in between the backing for the cheek pad and the helmet EPS. You're going to release the three snaps that are in there. You'll need to do that on both sides. Grab the cheek pad assembly right here, pull in and out, roll it around, out that comes. Give you a look at that. High quality interiors with all the Scorpion helmets. The snaps engage very positively, which is nice. We have reflective piping on both sides of the neck roll to enhance nighttime visibility. Here is the pocket that will accept the body of the unit for the communication system. If you choose to install that, it's right there. To remove the top pad, there are snaps on both right and left sides. You want to get your thumb in between the EPS and the backing of the top pad to release that. To remove the front portion, I like to get my finger kind of under that tab kind of pull and roll. Once again, high quality interior. You can see how they've molded all the cutouts here in the top pad. That is to work in conjunction with all that channeling in the EPS. They put that channeling there to encourage the front to back airflow to get maximum performance from the ventilation system, which is nice. You can see right here, here are the molded pockets for the speakers if you choose to install the communication system. You know, I think realistically with this helmet, given the fact, you know, they have this, this cutout right here, you know, I don't think the universal systems are gonna be great with this. I think with this helmet and that pocket, I mean, you could probably still install a universal system, but realistically, the one that's going to work the best is going to be the direct fit Exocom system. End of the day, what do I think? You know, modular helmets, like I, I said, full disclosure, you know, we sell a lot of helmets. I've handled a lot of helmets. I've, you know, taken apart and reassembled 
hundreds of helmets now over the last 16 years. That's why I'm doing this review to share with you what I've learned about this product. Modular helmets aren't something that I would ride in, but they're a very purpose-built helmet. You know, if you're the type of rider that's looking for this modular helmet, the flexibility of having the three-quarter openness, the communicator system that they have that is direct fit for this, I think at the end of the day, there's a lot of value with all the Scorpion product. They really do a great job at their given price points. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself, and I'm always here to help you choose the right gear for your next ride.